Hello, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great week, folks. Don't take anything personally. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It's no one's truth but yours. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 26. NASDAQ up 13. S&P's up 3. Gold contract up $3.50 trading at 1472 an ounce. You get silver up 5 cents, $17 flat. Late sweet crude off 86 cents. $56.86 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year up 5 ticks, 129.10. 30-year up 13 at 158.23. King dollar. King dollar down 213 ticks, trading 97,787. The euro is at 110. The yen is at 108.65. And the pound is at 129 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? And the world of the S&Ps, what do you have? You're another day, you're another dollar, and you're another high. We take a look at the S&P, uh, the SPY out here, all-time high. We hit an all-time high on Friday. You closed out Friday in the SPY at uh, 311. You're at 312.09. Yep, you got a contraction of volume, but the bottom line, you continue at higher price. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX 100. And the three Qs right now, trading up 30 cents. You're at 203.21. Uh, Dow Industrials, also the same inside the Dow Industrials. Dow Industrials right now, uh, trading up 24 bucks at 28,030. Small caps, different ball game. It's just showing how basically weak the small cap index actually is. You get the IWM is actually down 38 cents. Just can't handle price. So you still have monster divergence there. The small caps, they topped out in July of 2018. Yes, that's what you heard, folks, July of 2018. So pretty wild. Gold contract, gold contract out here. Uh, rejected lower price out here this morning. Caught a bid. Uh, bottom line is that gold wants higher price, and we'll see how this baby's shaking out. But quite a day out here today. We were at 14.56 this morning. You're at 1471. You get 321,000 contracts, and anything inside this uh, 1470 gets you in the higher range once again. Silver, same type of setup inside the silver market. Silver also caught the bid out here. Uh, silver right now is trading at a price point up six cents. You rejected $16.70, and anything inside 16.94, yeah, 16.98. You're a couple pennies inside it. Get you in the higher range. So we'll see uh, if silver itself can bust out of this range. Gold bottom line is out of the range. Notes and bonds, the note and bond market, folks, this is just amazing, actually. Continue to want higher price. And it's pretty intense how this thing is uh, basically shaking out. You have the 10-year note up five ticks today. Now, last Thursday... It had some big strength. It got back inside the higher range. We're at 129.09 right now in the 10. That's looking to go up to that 132 mark. We look at the 30-year. 30 30-year 30 is set up the same way, meaning that we got an additional 12 ticks out here. We're at 158.22. That 30-year is looking to get up into this uh, 165 area. Uh, last Thursday, also, this jumped right back in the higher range. Anything above 157.17 gets you in, inside that higher range, and that's exactly what they did. The 10-year yield right now, we are at 1.7, 1.81. That's where we're at. Uh, bottom line, looks like it wants to run down to approximately the 1.6 area. King dollar. What do we have for king dollar out here? King dollar right now. Come on, baby. Let's see. Where are we at? There we go. Maybe. King Dollar's 97.795. So we've had three days down in King Dollar. King Dollar looks like it's going to get down to the lower end uh, of this range it's been in, 97.141. And what that's about today, folks, is that the pound has actually caught a bid today uh, over in the U.K. Uh, pound's up 60 ticks, trading 129.57. 
The euro hasn't really caught the bid yet. If the euro catches the bid, then you can see that dollar come down with some conviction. The euro is up 23 ticks out here, 110, not, not bad. Bottom line, though, uh, because the dollar index is 60% of the euro, it's when the euro basically gets cracked that you'll see that uh, dollar go much higher. Oil, let's go over to the oil market out here. This oil market continues to have a tough time. And uh, let's go, the, we get the December contract right now. We are trading uh, down 89 cents. We're at $56.83. That failed the whole price out here today and dramatically lighter volume. So I expect what we're gonna see inside that oil market is gonna try to basically first get down into this 55 area if you get there with conviction, like we traded down today from the 58 to 56, then you're going to be down the very bottom of this consolidation, which is the $50 mark. What's so intriguing about the oil market right now is that you have Saudi Arabia come out over the weekend, folks. So Saudi Aramco was going to be the biggest IPO in the marketplace to ever take place. Bottom line, that's not going to be the case right now. It, they're going to be basically, it's going to be in a Saudi Arabia affair, basically, meaning that first off, they shook down the largest wealthier citizens out there to buy shares in the IPO. Then the actual individual investors, they changed the rules at the central bank that you're going to be able to do double leverage to buy it. Uh, bottom line is they're going to push out $1.6 trillion to $1.7 trillion. What that's telling me is that we get so much oil out here because they are doing huge amounts of pressure to get this IPO out on the market. Uh, I suspect once they get it out on the market, of course, then they can, it's only 1.5% of the company, but then they can use that as paper. They, bottom line is they're gonna get it pushed out. Um, so I expect you're gonna see more downward pressure on the oil market because what we have had, there's no two ways about this, is that we, we've had the aspect that, um, you know, bottom line, oil has had a really tough time at the $60 mark at all, one, all above. And the companies themselves are having a hard time staying in business at oil being 55 or 60. So I, I suspect we're gonna see some more destruction inside of that whole sector. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 25. You get the NASDAQ up 14. S&Ps are up three and a half. Those are all at all time highs, folks. Stay right there, folks. Good, I'm Mr. Steve Rhodes coming up next. We're gonna be talking the markets. Coming right back.